So let's talk about Pokemon Let's Go Wooper and Let's Go Togepi. Now these would be the Let's Go, I guess, sequel to Let's Go Pikachu and Let's Go Eevee, which would take place in the Johto region. So gold and silver and crystal, I guess you could say too. Would This would be like their Let's Go style game. Which is basically kind of meant for the more casual player, like the Let's Go games are meant for a more casual playthrough. But essentially, this game would kind of build up upon what the original Let's Go games actually were. This footage is also for my good friend Nintendo, so make sure to go check out his channel. He makes amazing fan trailers. Link to that will be in the description below. So Pokemon Day is coming up just a few days away, and that means we're getting a brand new Pokemon Presents, where presumably they're going to announce a brand new Pokemon game, and a mainline game that is. So not just like a side game, but like an actual mainline, main series Pokemon game. Obviously it's currently unknown as to like what they're actually going to officially release, but as everyone probably knows, the, the biggest rumors right now um, would be like a Johto game or a Unova game. So Johto game could be anything. Could be a Legends game, or I guess it could be anything for Unova and Johto. This could be a Legends game based on Gen 2 or Gen 5. It could be a sequel or a remake such as Let's Go. It could be really anything. But one of the biggest topics at the moment is Let's Go Wooper and Let's Go Togepi. So Let's Go Togepi because that's kind of like the Pikachu, I guess you could say, of Generation 2. And then Wooper, I guess because it's kind of like a derpy cute Pokemon that a lot of people like, such as Eevee was. And there was this Twitter post, I found it on Reddit, so I'll put a picture right here. And this is apparently a leak of what the actual Let's Go Johto games, I'll say. It probably wouldn't be called Let's Go Wooper and Togepi, that's just like kind of the fan given name to this little sequel, I guess, remake of the you know generation 2 games which would also hopefully have a kanto post game let me just say that now and could actually be the final pokemon game on the nintendo switch which is huge so these would have to be really good games the switch could start off with let's go and then end off with another let's go game this would be a direct sequel to let's go pikachu and eevee there is going to be a kanto post game according to this leak it's probably not true i'm going to guess this is probably something that somebody created but i'm going to i'm going to break it down and talk about it anyways because it's really interesting because even if this is a fake leak there may actually be a let's go johto game in the future and these these scripts or whatever right here could actually come true like this could be pretty accurate so this guy claims there's going to be a new pokeball plus accessory um, that has Celebi inside when you connect it to your games. Pretty sure the one for Let's Go, the, the Pokeball Plus accessory, I think had Mew in it. I never had the accessory, and I actually didn't really like Let's Go. I remember I bought Let's Go Pikachu when it came out, and then I think I played it for like a few hours and thought it was just really boring. And then I ended up beating the game like four years later, so it took me a long time to play that game. Looking back, I don't think it's it's that bad anymore. I think I was just kind of upset at the moment of like, this is really what we got, this boring game. It's a, it's a good game, but I definitely, it's definitely not on my favorite, you know, uh, in the, on the Switch uh, Pokemon games that we've had. In-game trades for Hisuian, Galarian, and Paldean forms, but evolutions like Cursola are transfer only from Home or Go. So that would make sense, you know, some type of specific evolutions can only be from, uh, you know, Home or Pokemon Go. And such like that trades. It'd be cool to see Galarian and Paldean Forbes though in a Let's Go Johto game. I think that would be really cool. Held items are reintroduced. Nice. The Go Park has moved from Fuchsia City to replace Johto Safari Zone. Gameplay is similar to the original Let's Go games and Awakened Valley's Return. I would hope that if there will be another Legends, I mean Let's Go game for Johto or Generation 2, I would hope it would be improved upon the original Let's Go games. <clears throat> Just because I feel like, like I know that they were made for the more casual player base as I said, but like I feel like it just needs more. Like at least BDSP, Brilliant Diamond Shining Pearl, at least that game, those games had things to it. I mean, it, they weren't the best remakes out there obviously, probably the worst remakes as far as remakes go, but they were a lot more in depth in my opinion than Let's Go. I mean, I know that there are a lot more things in Generation 4 than Generation 1, you know, makes sense, but I just would hope that they would add upon the let's go um, like play style i suppose new pokemon amy like mechanic where you can play with all your pokemon not just your partner pokemon that's pretty cool big in-game rewards from transferring pokemon from the original let's go games that's pretty cool so you could transfer your pokemon from the original pokemon game and i wonder if that that entails like means you have to have pokemon home 
to do that because I don't have that. I think you have to pay, isn't it like a monthly subscription? I think it's like a monthly subscription. So hopefully that's not the case. Hopefully you could just do it like directly from the game somehow. Don't know how that would work, but you play as a new trainer with a new rival. Interesting. I wonder if that means like a different rival from the actual gold and silver crystal games. Your partner Pokemon can find Apricorns to give to Kurt to make new Pokeballs. That's cool. Kind of reminds me of Legends Arceus. And then uh, the Gold and Silver Leaf can power up Wooper and Togepi when held. This seems uh, pretty cool. I, I like all these features, honestly. But as far as the name go, but as far as the name goes for this, I just can't imagine them using Wooper in the name. I could kind of see Togepi. Because Togepi is, you know, the cute Pikachu-style Pokemon of this generation. But Wooper is like... Yeah, Wooper has a lot of uh, fans backing him up. People love Wooper, but I just don't see... I just don't see Wooper being on the cover art of a Pokemon game. I feel like that would be a great name for, like, a fan-made game. But I guess we'll see soon, because the Pokemon Presents is in... Like, from the time I'm recording this video, it comes out in five days. So by the time I upload this video, it's probably coming out in... Th three days at this point so there really has been so much hype over the last about two months about like what what will the next pokemon game be everyone's kind of divided but now the recent rumor is it's actually going to be a johto black and white like paradox fusion game where it's johto and black and white or it's johto and unova within the same game kind of like a paradox version where the two generations kind of collide together which sounds incredible and i really really hoping that's it i would honestly like a let's go johto game though I like Johto Region, and I uh, I haven't completely played through the original games, and I haven't even played um, Heart Gold or Soul Silver at all. I really want to, but too expensive. I was I've, I, as I've mentioned in many videos in the past, but I've played through most of the original one on the Game Boy or Game Boy Color, whatever it was released on, and um, I really enjoyed it. So I would love to actually play through it again, and I hope that this is the case. So what do you guys think? Do you think this is a real leak? My gut, you know, my instinct, my mind is telling me it's probably a fake leak. As most things are, like there have been some pictures of fake black and white game leaks recently. Fake everything. It's it's getting easier and easier to make a fake leak. Like some of these black and white leaks look so real. When I first saw it, I was like, dang, this has to be real because it's, it has a typical low quality picture. And it's like not like a screenshot, it's like a picture of like a switch or something, and it's all dark and it's a terrible quality, and it has like the chibi style, and you know there it's so easy to fake things now, and it's so hard to tell like what is real and what is fake too, just because you have to take everything with a grain of salt, and it seems like right now the most reputable leaker would probably be Riddler Q. But let me know what you guys want to see announced on the Pokemon Presents coming up in just a few days. Would you rather see Gen 2, Gen 5, or both, or both mixed together? Let me know down in the comments. I'll see you guys in the next video.